uns, 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 uns. Flat leg tan, flat leg tan. Are you ready? Are you ready for flat leg tan? I don't even have my camera here. Where's my camera? What is the point of shooting flat legs if you don't have the camera to shoot them? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm Struggle with having a dog and doing this on the floor. Today, I'm going to be shooting flat lays for the vault. So what I like to do with any new product launch, I like to shoot a special set of flat lays that go along with it, that's included on the sales page, and then I will later include them on blog posts and stuff. But right now, I wanna shoot them for the sales page. So I have to shoot a whole new series of flat lays, and I haven't shot a new series since probably March, because that's when the Blog Biz Bundle came out. So I am well overdue for shooting flat lays, and I figured why not bring you guys behind the scenes show you exactly how I do it, give you some tips, tricks, pointers, and everything else if you want to shoot flat lays for your own blog or business so then you don't have to buy stock photos. I mean, I have never purchased a stock photo. I've actually had people reach out to me asking if my photos are stock photos, but they are not. I shoot all of my own content. So I am going to bring you guys behind the scenes. Let's do this. creating a good flat light is organizing all of your materials out in front of you so you know what you have to work with. So I went out throughout my house. I found some random books. I actually took the cover off this book. It had a wraparound cover. Took it off because it's a plain black book. I got my planner. I've got a bullet journal, an old bullet journal. And of course I have my blog hustler, which has not been featured in any images yet. So I grabbed some books and I have them right here. I went through, I grabbed notebooks, even things from events that I've attended. I've got thank you cards, miscellaneous things. I found this tray that goes underneath one of my plants over there. Some random tins. I've got little notepads. I mean, I found everything. These are even the letters from the letter board in my office. I went upstairs, I grabbed a watch. Anything that was black and white, I go through my house, I try to find it, I try to collect it, and I try to stick to things that are relatively small. The only big stuff you'll notice is my iPad. My iPad will be featured in a few images, as well as this notepad, and then I grabbed my, um, what is this called? Mouse pad as well. And the reason I did that is because I like to have bases for my images. So I will show you the board that I'm working off of, but these will be my main bases. It's the big things that I put down first, and I stack on top of the small things. Got the board, boo boo. I used to use my desk as my background for my flat lays. It was the base of everything. And I did that when I lived in our apartment before we bought the house. And it was pushed up right up against a window so it had great lighting. I didn't have studio lighting at the time. Well, I moved into this house and my office does not have the best lighting. Honestly, it's got such crappy lighting and I couldn't shoot flat lays anymore. And I was complaining that Alex was like, you know, like I just have to keep using the same flat lays over and over and over again because I can't shoot any flat lays in this house and it really stinks. So what he did for me he found this board in our garage painted it a color that kind of matches my desk so that I have the same gray background for all of my flat light images and it's actually pretty big okay let me just break it down for you guys I have a size 11 foot so my foot is huge and this board is pretty big when you are designing a flat light the first thing you want to pick is your base so I'm going to use this mouse pad as my base and I think I'm actually gonna do the marble side and I'm just gonna include it up there. I'm gonna actually tilt it and I think I want it going long ways to the image. Then you want to pick out the other big things that you are going to include in addition to this. So actually I might choose two bases and I might do these together. Do I want to elevate that? No, I think I'm just gonna stick with that one base. Okay, so we're gonna stick with that one base and then we're gonna decide what in things we want on top. So I'm gonna include a book and I'm gonna include that down here. I'm gonna do a list thing, but I want it like up top and off. Now, you may notice this is a bit wobbly. This isn't on here, right? There's some tricks of the trade that I got for you guys. Um, you wanna stick some stuff under it so that it stands up and it is the appropriate height. So that it is level and it holds flat and holds true to the image. So now we're just gonna fill it with a few things. So there's two big things. Let's design on one other big thing. Maybe I'll do my whole big camera on this image. And we'll stick that like over there. This as well has a little nub. Let's see if we can. If we stick it off, it does better. Um, how can we do that? Maybe like there? I don't like the black on black. Let's stick it there and we'll see if we like that. Um, a few other things. 
So now we're gonna go into smaller details of things. Um, I am gonna start layering this like crazy. If I have something in one location, I sometimes like to incorporate it in another location as well so that it helps to make it pop, it helps to stand out. So I'm also gonna include these over here and these up here. So we'll have that going for us. I'm not sure if I crop the image here, which is my thought. I'm not sure how I like that yet. So we will see what I decide. So now that I have like all of my big and base products, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start filling in with little details, smaller things to make the image look nicer. So what I have, I have these little, um, they're actually paper clips, and I love to use those when I am accenting any image. I also have two different colors of thumbtacks, and I like to use these just as little accents as well. And then I also have a few little um, paper clips that I like to use just as accents. So I think I'm gonna actually use the paper clips within this image. It's a very light image right now, so I think I need to darken it up. Um, so I'm only gonna include these small little accent things on things that are really dark right now. So if I wanna darken it up a bit, I'm going to add this ruler, I think up top. There needs to be something in the center. I'm thinking I'm going to run a cord through the center and draw some lines within the image. This is not my favorite flat light that I've ever done. And I think that is actually going to be our flat light. It's not like my favorite flat light that I've ever done. Maybe I'm gonna include some of these somewhere. It's a very light image, and I don't think I've ever done one that is so light like this, but we're gonna rock with it and we're gonna shoot some pictures. It's not bad, it's just not my favorite. This is the final look for this flat lay. I'm going to shoot a few pictures of it and show you guys exactly what it looks like once it's done. Today I only designed three flat lays, but within each of those flat lays I got at least three separate images of the chunks. So it's gonna turn into at least nine different sets of images, and I'm honestly thinking it's gonna turn into even more than that because the way I shot some of the images and got really up close and personal with a flat lay, I think that I can just turn it into like a ton of images, and no one's gonna know that it's from the same photo. So I am now gonna go ahead and let's take a look at those images. For every vertical image I shoot, I also shoot a horizontal image. That way I have an image for all of my blog posts, my featured images on my blog posts, as well as the Twitter and Facebook image, and then the vertical images for Pinterest images. So I hope you guys liked this video, a little bit of behind the scenes on how to shoot flat lay images for your blog. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really does help to support me, and I will see you guys back here in another video very soon. Bye, guys.